there are folders on my computer that each need to show different types of information so I can quickly take action on their contents. File Explorer offers five customizable folder templates that it automatically applies based on what's inside the folder. However, these templates often don't work as expected. Windows randomly resets my templates to the default settings and doesn't even apply them in open save dialogues. I then end up wasting time and losing focus customizing them again. It's just frustrating enough to make me avoid using them altogether. Then I discovered Winset View. My preferences no longer reset. They apply even in open save dialogues and I can edit every folder template with every possible option in one centralized place. Plus, it automatically backs up my old settings and allows me to easily transfer them to a new computer whenever I switch. Now, I never have to worry about folder views ever again. First, I'll explain the logic behind Winset View so you can avoid the mistakes I made. Then, I'll walk you through all the customizations you can make to get your folder templates set up just the way you want. Finally, I'll share how I personally set up my folder templates along with a few tips and tricks that I've learned. This video will include timestamps, so feel free to skip to the interesting parts. Winset view sets registry values that File Explorer already supports. It does not modify Explorer or add any tasks or services. Explorer displays your folders based on the default view that it reads from the registry, which you can customize in Winset view. When you click Submit, Explorer restarts to apply your changes. And checking a box in Winset view will reset that folder type to Windows default settings. Winset view cannot detect your current settings in File Explorer. If you want to keep a template how it's set up right now in File Explorer, make sure to replicate the view, sort by, group by, and columns from File Explorer into Winset view. Basically, before clicking Submit, verify that everything is set up how you want it. For best results, close all open applications in the taskbar and system tray before running Winset view, as open programs can prevent updates to open save dialog views. First of all, you can customize the app's appearance, such as adjusting the font size or theme to make it easier to use. You can even resize the UI with the scroll wheel. Customize only what you need and leave the rest unchecked if you haven't customized them yourself in File Explorer. For me, I don't use the Contacts folder template. Reset views to Windows defaults is straightforward. It resets all folder views to how they appeared when you first installed Windows. It's the same as manually unchecking every box, restoring everything to the default settings. The first section lets you choose how each template is displayed similar to the view menu in File Explorer's toolbar. The second section is only enabled when you select an icon view, allowing you to set custom icon size. For example, a value between large and extra large like 175. You can use Control plus mouse scroll wheel to adjust the icon size in File Explorer. If you decide that you want to reset the view, including icon size to the values set in Winset view, open options and under view, use the reset folders option. Use the columns button to select column headings, group by and sort by options. To enable grouping, click the X icon, which shows an arrow. If the arrow points up, the group is in ascending order. And if it points down, it's in descending order. Select the radio button beside the property you wish to group by. You can only choose one grouping option at a time. Some of these properties like type, kind or file extension are basically the same thing. If needed, you can search each property's name online for further details. To turn off grouping, click the X icon again. Sorting works in a similar way. Just click a radio button beside the property you wish to sort by and adjust the arrow to sort ascending or descending. Sort 2 and 3 are used to create a multi-level sort. If sort 1 is set to something unique, such as name, there is no point in setting a sort 2 or sort 3. The name property is unique because you can't have files with the same name inside the same folder. However, if sort 1 is set to something non-unique, such as type, then sort 2 could be set to something else such as date modified or name to create a two level sort type is non-unique because you might have multiple files of type jpg and png inside the same folder a three level sort could be set up for music folders with something 
like artist for sort 1, album for sort 2, and title for sort 3. You can disable multi level sorting by cycling the button to X. You can achieve multi level sorts in File Explorer by shift clicking the second properties column. I've just recently discovered this is even possible. Comment down below if you did not know about this too. This option allows you to set the default width for each column heading. For example, you can use this setting to make the name column wider than the default of 34 EMS. 1 EM is roughly the size of one text card. Clicking this button lets you reset all column width settings. The display in details view option lets you choose which column headings appear in the details view of file explorer. When you select a column here, it also becomes a quick option when you right click on the column heading bar in explorer. Therefore, selecting a column automatically checks the same item in the add to right click menu column. If you want to quickly uncheck all selected column headings, simply open the display in details view button and check this box. In explorer details view, there are over 300 file and folder properties you can choose from and you can access all of them in Winset view. The property names in Winset view are exactly the same as in Explorer, but some can be confusing. For example, status shows up three times. You can hover over any property to see its internal windows name, though that might not always help. The best approach is to use the properties that you find useful and ignore the rest. Here are explanations for some common file properties. Date created. This is the date or time the file was initially written to storage. Date access. The last time the file was opened. Often inaccurate due to delayed updates. File version. Applicable to files that have a version header, such as .exe files. Item type. The file type based on its extension. For example, mpeg4. Type. Similar to item type, but may show the associated app name in search results, like Photoshop for .psd files. Perceived type. The files category, such as audio or video. Kind. Similar to perceived type. Examples music or video content type combines perceived type and item type like audio mpeg file extension for example dot mp3 useful for sorting without using a type field the add to right click menu option allows you to choose which column headings are available for quick access when you right click the column heading bar and explorers details view this is useful when you have some properties you always use but don't want them applied to every folder of that type. You can add them here to be able to quickly access them. If you click the add to right click menu button at the top of the column, it will give you the option to clear all selections that aren't also chosen in the display in details view column. If you hold down the alt key while clicking, it will completely clear both columns except for the name property. Clicking the reorder button opens a dialog where you can drag column headings up or down. The order can also be changed by unchecking each item and then rechecking them in the desired order. The cog button allows you to select a different view for open save dialogs. Open save dialogs are the mini file explorer windows that pop up when you open or save files. Note that there is no need to set this option if you want open save dialogs to have the same view you have already applied in file explorer. Click the copy button to copy the settings for that folder type to the clipboard so that you can then paste that template settings to another. If the advanced interface is enabled, there is also a checkbox beside globe. This checkbox can be used to enable or disable all folder types with one click. This may be useful if you wish to leave the majority of folder types at their windows default views and just set a select few to new default views. Note. Each of the folder type groups above is a family in one set view, with the first member being the parent of the others. Therefore, for example, if you uncheck inherit for the music folder type and then edit its column headings, those settings will be inherited by all of the other music folder types, as long as they have inherit checked. I had an issue where folder templates wouldn't apply when I tried changing them to anything other than general items. This problem only occurred with folders stored on the C drive and isn't related to Winset View. It's a Windows related issue. I'll include a link to a post I wrote on the Microsoft community website explaining the problem and its solution. For the downloads folder, you may want to disable the grouping feature. You have two options. You can leave the inherit option checked 
which means the downloads folder will follow your global settings or you can uncheck inherit and set specific preferences for the downloads folder. Note, in Windows 10 only the root downloads folder is categorized as downloads, but in Windows 11 all subfolders within downloads are also classified as downloads. If like me you find this frustrating, a simple fix is to disable grouping in one set view and apply grouping only in the main downloads folder using file explorer. This way only the root folder will be grouped by date while subfolders will not be affected. My downloads folder template is set to details view is grouped and sorted by date modified descending and includes name date modified and type properties for column headings. I encountered an issue where my downloads folder wasn't applying the template I set in one set view. This happened because when I installed Windows, I deleted the original downloads folder in the C drive and created a new one in the D drive. Moving downloads from C to D drive using folder properties would throw up an error. And the system won't recognize the real downloads folder just because it's called downloads. To fix this, I had to manually update the registry to let Windows know where the actual downloads folder was. This is important because Windows only recognizes special folders through the registry, not just by their name. If you've moved any other special folders, like pictures or music, to different locations, you'll face the same issue. The solution is to update the folder path in the registry. For more details, I'll include a link to a GitHub conversation I had with the developer of this app about this problem, along with an article that helped me find the correct registry location for the downloads folder. General items. This is the folder type that applies to most folders on your computer's storage device. It's also known as the generic folder type. You will probably want to leave inherit checked for this folder type to have it use your global settings, which is what I do. My global template is set to details view with name, date modified and type properties as columns and is sorted by name ascending documents. This folder type is for document files such as Word and Excel files. For most users using the global settings for documents works fine, but some users may want to uncheck inherit on this folder type and add headings such as authors, owner, date last saved or word count for word documents. For me, I use the same settings as the global template, but add a size column. Music. This folder type is for music files such as mp3s. Therefore, you may want to enable headings such as rating, bit rate, length, contributing artists and genre or enable them in the right click menu for quick access. I like tiles view for music but it doesn't display length so I enable the length heading in one set view so that when I switch to details view in file explorer I can see it. Pictures. This folder type is for pictures such as jpgs. Many users like to set pictures folder to a more visual display such as large icons or add columns such as dimensions to details view. You can add an underlying custom details view with your preferred columns so that you can quickly switch to details view and see relevant information. If you want to have icons for pictures, folders in explorer but want list or details view when opening or saving files in graphics programs, be sure to click the cog button to set the view for open and save dialogues. I set my pictures template to large icons and I sort by date modified descending videos. This folder type is for video files such as mp4s and mkvs. It's very similar to the pictures folder type. You might want to add headings like length, dimensions, codec, frame rate or bit rate to video folders. I don't use the next folder templates that I'll mention so I'll just explain them for you. Contacts. This folder can be found when you browse to your user folder in Windows. If you use Windows contacts, your contacts will be shown here. A details view with column headings such as email address, cell phone, home address, etc. would make sense for this folder type. If you don't use Windows contacts, you can safely leave this folder type to use your global settings. Library folder types. Under each folder type listed above, there is a corresponding library folder type. This controls the view you see when the folder is accessed via libraries. OneDrive folder types. Under each folder type listed above except contacts, there is a corresponding OneDrive 
folder type. This controls the view you see for folders on Microsoft OneDrive. Search results folder types. Under each folder type listed above, there is a corresponding search results folder type. This controls the view you see after doing a search. This is where a property such as folder path or file location is useful to show the path of any found item. Home quick access. This folder type controls the view you see when clicking on the home or quick access item in explorer's left navigation pane. This folder type is also known as the home folder. User files. This folder type controls the view you see for your user folder. User files search results. This folder type controls the view of results you see when you search your user folder. Searches. This folder type controls the view you see for the searches item within your user folder. Options. Note, all options except those with a shield icon can be changed by a standard user. The items with the shield icon require administrator rights to change. Here are some recommended options to enable in the options menu. Show file extensions. It's useful to always see file extensions for clarity. Classic context menu. If you haven't already, enable this for the traditional right-click menu or use Nightsoft Shell as an alternative. No internet in Windows search. This makes Windows search local only, which is what it should do. And hide the app data folder. You'll occasionally need to access this folder, so keeping it visible is helpful. Use Windows 10 Explorer on Windows 11. This can be useful because it allows you to apply templates to all subfolders, which isn't possible in Windows 11 due to a bug, and brings back the editable details pane at the bottom. Fix desktop and legacy dialogs. This removes clutter like special folders and legacy open save dialogs that are still used in some programs such as Irfan View, Audacity, and RegEd by only displaying the items that are actually on the desktop. Set a start folder for Explorer. Choose a custom start folder like this PC, downloads, or any folder path you prefer. Tip, put the file location column first so that when you perform a search, the file location is always visible without expanding the file explorer window. Additionally, you may want to set a specific view for this PC, default styles, and grouped by type. Make all folders generic. This can simplify folder view settings across the board, which will give all your folders the same general items template. Leave a comment if you want a part two to this video where I show you how to use another tool that will allow you to make more than five templates customized to your liking.